the economic times we live in in terms of right. you know I mean there's one thing we know how to do in, in Detroit is build a big VA car right. and we got that part down I mean we do good that we do that very well and the idea here was to make something a little more European with the handling the lighter weight uh, but still have that old American V8 power but in a V6 package so. now, now with the twin turbos on it how about the uh, sound note coming out of the exhaust does it give you any uh, well, you know, I haven't heard it fired up yet. I'm seeing it today for the oh, first okay. time as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, Any no, modifications to the exhaust on this? Oh, yeah. maybe down the road. We'll see what it sounds like. <laughs> you know, my thing is, if you can still hear the radio, the exhaust is not loud enough. So, <laughs> Perfect. I, kind of old school. If you turn the radio, you can still hear the radio. Oh, if you can make out the song. What do you even well, need a radio for? Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Exactly. Hey, but, Jay, I had a question yeah. for you. Uh, do you drive to your show in Burbank every day yeah. with one of your cars? Yeah, yeah, I usually take something different. Yeah. yeah it's, it's fun. And, and you change cars quite often? Well, if you've ever seen me interview, I wear the same clothes every day, but I have a different car. I know this, I know <laughs> this is a shirt, have, yes. You know, I, I, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's just jeans and a jean shirt, but a different car. <laughs> Other people drive the same car, but they have different right. clothes. Right. Well, now you got another one. Hey, oh, I think it's really exciting. I think right. this is uh, beautiful. I think this is the, sort of the future with the muscle car thing, and it's and it's built in Detroit. You know, I'm a right. big fan of Detroit. I love the city. It was one of the great American cities. I think it can be again. Uh, a lot of heritage there. It's sort of the for car guys. It's sort of the Bethlehem of the American right. auto industry. You know, it's where it all began and where it all started. What do you think of the, you, I mean, the younger crowd and their reaction to this car? Because you know how many of them are like into the tuner cars now. What, well, I, I, of I think this car. I think it's winning well with that crowd because it's smaller. It's a V6, and it's a lot of horsepower. You know? some of that market. I think it's just very well. I think this will more than compete with the 3 Series BMWs or 5 Series, which everyone no. knows. That. But, uh, you know, in the old days, these things always went fast. It just didn't stop or handle. Now they have the brakes. Now they have the suspension. And I think that's the key. And you have the build quality. Yeah, that is I mean, everything is, I, mean, I remember the old days, you open the trunk and it's kind of going this way. And, yeah. You know, you know, let's face it, you know. It was a time you weren't building them very well. Yeah. I think everybody's learned their lesson and, right. you know, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to come back up again. And I think that's the classic case. Hey, Jay, when did you start working on this with GM? Eight months ago, nine months ago. You know, we're knocking around all kinds of concepts. Did we want to try diesel? Did we want to go a different way? We wanted something green but but uh, practical, and this seemed like the most practical because, as I said, whenever I read road tests of the Camaro, if, if any of the like road and track or car and driver guys had any sort of qualm, the, 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 the big V8 was a little too heavy, but they liked the power. Well, now you've got the power of the V8 without all that weight, and everybody loves the V6 stick Camaro, and they'd say, oh, "I wish I had a little more power." But geez, it handles great; it drives nice. Well, now you now got, you got it. now you got it. Yeah. Do you think this will become any kind of an option for upgrades? Like the twin, I mean, they probably want the twin turbos in fact. I don't know. I, I'd be nice. I, I imagine, uh, you know, Hennessy and all these boys, all these aftermarket guys. Will be able to get that you know, it's a pretty versatile motor, 3.6. So, right. Did they do anything to the suspension? Yeah, I don't know how different it is. Uh, again, I haven't driven it yet. I mean, I told them what I like, something that handles and drives and fast. So. We'll find out. We'll put it on my website when we get it. Now I know you won't do a burnout with it. Oh, you got to do a burnout. <laughs> no, you, well, you oh, was it the Challenger? He said, you're not going to do a burnout. I'm not going to do a burnout. Well, that wasn't mine. You burnout. Oh, well, that was, yeah. <laughs> you did a burnout. Press yeah. car. Press car. Got to do it. You just want to know how long the march is. Then the big question, how long were you in the car? <laughs> uh, about 20 minutes. It was comfortable. So That's you're not claustrophobic. No, no. I can sit in cars all day long. <laughs> I think my best part of my day is sitting in traffic. I love sitting in my car. 